In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text in DaVinci Resolve. So in order to add text in DaVinci Resolve, there are different ways of doing so. So the first one is in the main timeline. So here I have a timeline created and you'll see that over here we have an option of titles and you'll see that now on this side we have different titles that we can use for our video. So first of all, you can see we have these lower thirds, the left, middle and right. And we also have this scroll and we also have these two. And of course, if we scroll down, you'll see that we have some fusion titles as well. So something like this, you can go ahead and see all of these. So all of these have some different functions because they are from the Fusion tab. But right now we're going to talk about these two because these are the main ones. So if we simply drag this one over here, you'll see that we have a basic text. And over here, you'll see that we have an option of changing the text from here. You can go ahead and change the text from here. And we can also change the font family. So you can see that we have different options. We can also change the size from here, the color, tracking, and if we have more than one line, we can also use this line spacing. We can also change this to all caps or all lowercase. And of course we have alignment. So all of these different effects you can see that we have in this simple tab. And here you can see we also have an option of adding a stroke. So if you want to add a stroke to your text, you can do it from here. You can also add drop shadow and also a background for your text. So these are some basic settings and you also have this settings panel over here where you will get an option of transforming. So basically zooming in, zooming out, changing the position. These are the basic tools that you can use for your text. And now let's talk about this text plus. So this is a different text. It has the same options as you can see if we go over in the title, you'll see that it has almost the same options. But you can see that if we click on this text and go over here, you'll see that we don't get any option of write on effect. But if we select this one, you'll see that we have this write on effect. So what this does is this allows us to have a write on effect like this. As you can see on the screen, this will give you a write on effect. And you can create keyframes in order to use it. Otherwise, you can see that we have the similar, almost similar effects. So, and one other difference is that if you go over here, you'll see that we have these options. So we have an option of layout. Here you can change these settings from here, the size. So this will give you more options, the rotation, X, Y, Z, and also the background. You can set a background. And if you go over to the transform, you can again use these different settings. And in the shading, you also have an option of changing the opacity from here. And you can also set this to outline. So you can set your text as an outline without the fill. And of course, there are many different things over here, which we don't get in the basic text effect, but in this custom text or text plus, you'll see that we have more options. So these were the basic things that I went over. This will give you a good idea of how you can use text in the Vinci Resolve. And of course, if we go over here in the Fusion titles, you'll see that if you go ahead and play this, you'll see that there are some effects already placed on these titles or these text. So you can go ahead and see all of these and this will give you much more options to quickly choose an effect for your text or you simply have a text with an effect already placed on it so if you quickly want an effect this will help you so basically this is how easy it is in davinci resolve to add a text and you can also add text in the fusion tab so for example let's go ahead and add a fusion composition to our timeline. Let's go ahead and go into the fusion page 
and you'll see that we are in the fusion tab and here let's go ahead and drag this text on our nodes and connect it with the media out so let's go ahead and write text over here go ahead and change the size and the tracking so you'll see that we get almost all of these effects that we already were having in the main timeline so the whole layout is the same we have the same layout transform shading etc so we already have all of these options within the text that we selected from here and in this so the thing about fusion using the fusion tab is that you can add more custom effects to your text or any element for that matter but since we're talking about text you can go ahead and add different effects on your text so for instance let's go ahead and hit control space on our keyboard we'll see that we get these different options to choose from and all of these are different effects so for example let's go with this glow and add this let's go ahead and connect this to our text and here you can see we have a glow effect and if you go back in our timeline and search for on here and type in glow you'll see that we don't get this effect in the titles panel nor in the generate generators or the effects but we have this in the open effects as well so we can use this effect from here as well so you'll find many effects that will be present in the main tab as well but in some cases when you are using fusion tab for motion graphics or advanced vfx effects so you can use this this fusion tab and add these effects right here and this will make make it much easier for you to edit your text so right now let's remove this and let's go ahead and search for grid war and let's add this over here let's connect it to our text and now you can go ahead and change these change the text a bit like this and this will give you and of course there are many different effects i'm just showing you this effect as a demonstration of how you can use text or how you can edit text in the in this fusion tab and if we go back to our main timeline and search for this grid warp you'll see that we won't find this anywhere in our main toolbox or the panel over here but we will find this in our fusion node so there are some effects that you will find that will be specific for fusion because most of the time when you are editing or making some effects you will be using this fusion tab so that is why it is good to know how to use text within the fusion tab so this was it and of course you can go ahead try different effects over here but this was just a basic demonstration to show you how you can add text and how you can use text and what are the different ways of adding text to DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.